Hello and welcome back. Today what I think we're going to do is, um, it, it's come to my, I guess, realization, that would be a better word, that it's going to take me some time to dig the permanent home for our, uh, our elf portal. So rather than kind of drag my feet while I'm, I'm digging the tunnel for that and digging everything out, I think it might be best to set it up in a temporary location and just do what I initially didn't want to do, which was move it. So to do that, what we need to do to start with is we're going to need Terra Steel. To, to get into the Terra Steel, we're going to need one of these Terra Steel, Terra Terrestrial Agglomeration Plates, which a little bit of a shopping list to it. So I'm going to gather up the materials so we can craft this plate and then we'll get started. But before I do that, I want to uh, take a peek at what we're doing here for our uh, ender pearls and our mana pool and our potatoes. Uh, I did find one more of these seeds in a chest by a zombie spawner so I've got uh, five of them sitting there now. Let's see how we're doing here. Looks like we're up to four stacks and a spare. And This is the chest here for overflow and we apparently now have six more seeds. Those were not there earlier so we must have had a, a run of luck in the last eight hours or so. So that thing actually is doing very well. I, I was considering expanding it, but at this point I don't think we need it. And let's take a look at our mana pools here. So they're all all even, so they're all getting close to full. So we'll be able to use those for our pool. Or portal, rather. Let's check on our potatoes. See how many of these we've got built up. So we're sitting at 16,478 potato, 79 potatoes and 234 poison potatoes. Now I didn't mention last time what these potatoes were for, or I may have and just not remember. So let's swing over here and take a peek. What we did here is the Fallen Canade, Canada, Canade, I can't remember how to pronounce that, uh, gives you a hunger effect. You can kind of see it down here because you have the regeneration, the blood altar gives you the, the effect of hunger because you're regenerating health fast. It's kind of the way of offsetting the natural regen. So what Newt did was built this down here. Uh, ritual of the sat satiated stomach, however you pronounce that word, takes anything from this chest here that's food wise and uses it to keep the saturation of your food bar full. So right now I'm full, full food while I'm standing in this ritual, it will slowly bleed out of this chest. It will take a potato every now and then to keep me at that point. So right now it's not taking much because I'm not really losing all that much. And then this was my initial pond. This keeps the, the flower up there, the regen flower in juice. So we got 12 of these flowers running around the edge of this thing. That works out pretty good. But yeah, so that's that's what the uh, the cooked potatoes were initially for. So you see this pool's full. Um, it keeps this flower full, and then the flower gives me regen. The ritual down below keeps me from losing, losing hunger, so I can basically just sit here and bleed. And I've got an exo flame sitting right here. Uh, looks like it's finished. Yeah, it's finished processing all its stone. So basically what this was is I kept loading stone into this. That way we'd have a supply of smooth stone. There's a transfer node in the bottom there that pulls the finished product out of that chest. Got some day blooms here. Probably really don't need those. And then four of the uh, hydrangeas down there. So that kind of, I think, catches us. Actually, no, it doesn't quite catch us up. There's one thing we got to look at real quick. I did make a, uh, a start on walking up steps on every time on uh, the location for the uh, the start of the underground base. Let's get down there. Alright, so what I settled on, I can't remember if I went over this last time, is uh, Y40. So this is at Y40, and then what I did below here is at Y35, I just layered this platform of dirt to give me kind of a, a structure to walk on because I Neglected in my planning of digging this big hole of remembering I don't have flights, so it's a royal pain to uh, To work down here if you constantly have to use this thing to fly around because it's not exactly precision So this is kind of what I'm sitting on right now. This that's the big tower 
And right now, this is kind of just the, this will be maybe the focal point, I think, for the mana in there. So more than likely, it'll flow down to here into some type of mana storage. And then I've got just got tunnels that go off in different locations. And for point of reference, let's turn on this one, this one, and this one. So as you can see right there, that's the center of the Patani area. It's right over there. The blood altar, the center of that is right there. And then the and there's my home point, and there's the watchtower right outside the uh, the church. So that's kind of a. Uh, I don't need that one anymore. I found a few more witch spawners. Found that zombie spawner. That's where I found that extra seed. So this is just kind of what we're working on right now. This is the part that's going to take me several days to get done, more than likely. So it'll probably be spread across a couple different recordings as I slowly move through getting it finished. So let's see. We're going to come back down here. After a while, you get used to not killing yourself when you fly down like that. All right. So Terra Steel. Okay, so for Terra Steel, I'm going to have... A decent shopping list to come up with. So I'm going to dig through, get all the materials for the uh, agglomeration plate, and then I will be back. All right, so I've got the materials now. It did take a little while to gather it up because I had to make the mana, which actually is fairly easy, but then I had to go find the components to make the air again, which should have been easy. Um, mana was just a mana, a mana pearl, so ender pearl tossed into a pool, and I want to say four or five of the... Uh, Ender or the uh, mana steel, so that gets it along with our block of mana steel and some lapis blocks gives us this thing. Now what we have to do with this is we have to put it on a specific form of, uh, I guess, setup of blocks would be the best way to put it. And because I know this takes a about a half a mana pool per block that you're making out of this or per bar. I'm going to steal mana from this pool over here because it's not one we're going to use anytime soon. So we're going to construct that. And basically what it ends up being is it's going to be four lapis. Oops. Not like that. Like this, I think. And then that, if I remember correctly. Yeah, living rock. Yeah, living rock. And then we need the mana pearl, the mana ingot, steel ingot, and a mana diamond to get thrown onto that. And now we need to get it to take power from this. To do this, because it takes a lot of power and it takes a while, I'm going to use a spark, which is this configuration. I burned up pretty much all those little um, Thumbcraft uh, fire flowers, or I can't remember what they're called. You get them out in the deserts usually. Each one of them in a crafting grid gives you one blaze pot, right? 14. So I used up a decent chunk of what I had so that we can uh, do this a little quicker here. And then we too, I didn't get that many of those. And that, now we have two sparks. Now the sparks will allow us to transmit mana between these two objects. So we're gonna slap one right there and you can see them floating right there. And we're gonna slap one on top of that pool there. And in theory, these two, Yep, are linked. You can right click them with the wand, same as you can most other things. You can kind of get an idea of where they're going. So now, in theory, if this works, we should be able to go one, 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 and then run. Did I do it right? No. What did I do? Creating terror skill, living. There's living rock under the plate, so we got four living rock, one in the middle, five lapis blocks, which we've got there, and we've got that. The items will halt. All right, so we toss a single mana steel, mana diamond, and a mana pearl on top of the plate to begin the infusion. Okay. Let's do that again. Little ring. All right, let's see. Steel, diamond, pearl. Let's try it in that exact order. So, steel, diamond, pearl. Hmm. 
All right, let me poke at this. It's been quite a while since I've made it, and I imagine I've made some very simple mistake. So I will fix this and get it going, and then I will be back. So how many times did I look at that picture and I didn't notice the obvious checkerboard pattern? Not a cross like that. And then we're going to put this back on top. Let's try this again. So we should better go one, one, nah, every time. One, drop, 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 and... And I broke it. Ah. All right, let's try this again a little faster. All right, now it'll start siphoning power from that pool. We may only have enough juice to do one. On the plus side, if this thing runs out of power, it will just halt until it gets enough power. And once those are full green, probably on the next inbound, that'll do it. And we'll get our first piece of Terra Steel. And there we go. So there's the first piece. Now the reason I wanted the first piece is, let's see, we're gonna drop all back. Go into the creation of the portal. So we need this uh, Elven Gateway controller. That needs one piece surrounded by living wood. So we need one there. Now we also need these Natura pylons. That requires one and mana pylons. The mana pylons, fairly simple. Mana diamond, mana steel, and some gold. So I'm going to make those uh, in between here. But what I'm going to do here is, uh, I don't think I have enough. All right, I'm going to get enough pool or power and get the next one going, and I'll be back. All right, so rather than wait for that thing to charge up, what we're going to do here is we're going to pop over here, uh, accepting mana from items, and toss so I'm going to take the mana that I had in my initial mana tablet, and this is one of the ones I used to drain the, uh, the pool from over there. So we're going to let that thing drain out, and then while it's doing that, we are going to do this. And create ourselves two mana pylons. Now the neat thing about these is if you stick two of these little buggers around an uh, enchanting table, it counts as all the books you need, which is kind of a neat little touch. All right, so more than enough power. So let's make our next piece. Let that one go. It's kind of a neat effect to watch. I mean, that's one thing Batania definitely has is lots of sparkle and wow factor. So you can see it's it burns the power fast. If we were doing this with a mana spreader, we would uh, we'd be here for a while. Almost. And here we go. Done. Okay, and, nope, come on. I know there was a way to do this. There it is, shift right click. With a wand of the forest, we'll pop it loose because there's no reason to leave this here. And before I forget again, I start losing things. There we go. All right, so there's no reason to leave that thing there because we're not gonna use it here again. So now what we need is living wood. Let's go see how much that stuff I've got banked up or if I need to go make some. Survey says I have enough. And eight. Okay. So, gateway controller. That's this one. So now we got our gateway controller. We've got our pylons, which, I mean, they just look neat. I, I like these better than I like the other ones. The other ones are a blue crystal like this, but with gold rotating around them. I don't know. I like the green ones better. I wish you could dye them a different color. All right, so now we've got that. So let's pop our book open here again. What do we need? All right, so we need eight more living wood to give us this frame. And then three of the glimmering living wood. So, oops, I can count. Um, none of those there. Glimmering wood, is, glimmering living wood is uh, living wood plus glowstone. No idea where that is in the book. I have had a heck of a time finding it. So we just do this way. And now we've got our glimmering living wood which, again, looks 
looks pretty cool and I think we're going to go there. grab some of that now where do we want to set this little thing up we need to put it somewhere where we can get some juice into it I think we're going to because we're going to need to get a lot of power into that thing Actually, I don't think it matters. I can... Ooh, my tree grew. Found this thing in a chest. I've never actually had one of these grow before. Like larch wood. Okay, back on task. We are going to put it... Oh, this is going to bug me now. I'm not going to like it anymore. But hmm. Let's consult Manuel. What is the setup? So I need three, four, four by seven worth of space. Yeah, this will do. Okay, so it has a three wide base. Yeah, this should do. So three wide base, so one here and here. And then we need some living wood here. Oops, that's not living wood. Living wood. So there's our first part. Come up here. More living wood. More dirt. And living wood. And then we go living wood. Dirt. Living wood. Okay. And just because I don't want to get eaten by anything, torches. I think it's, that bottom dirt could stay there and not cause any issues. But you know, why? Uh, why tempt fate? So glimmering, 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 control. Now, according to the book, we need, so one, two, three, one, and then a mana pool. So one, two, three, one, mana pool goes. Okay, be that way. Go there. So one, two, three, one, there. All right, so now we need two full mana pools. Luckily, we have enough here to make another diluted. And then I've been mooching power from this one on and off. So now we put it here and here. And then we take these two fancy little pylons. We put them there and there. And assuming I read this diagram correctly, that is the portal. And in theory, if we whack that one with a stick right there, it will light up. But we need to get some juice into these things first. So that's where we're going to use these. And I'm actually, while we're doing that, going to uh, going to bleed that one. I should probably make sure. Function mode. Sparing. Okay. Now what we're going to do, accepting, accepting. And now we let it go. So now what this will do is this will charge those pools up. And then it'll charge that tablet up. I, I do wish they changed color in the uh, overworld here. Because if I pick that up, the color will change. Like you can see, those are nearly empty. Or if not already empty. But they still got the sparks coming out of them. And they're still blue. But empty. And empty. So nothing left in them. So, wait, I need that one. All right. So, this goes here, here, and we pick this one up because I want power. Man, that pool's empty already. Okay. So, now the first thing we're going to do is let's see if we did this right. And we did. Perfect. Okay. So, as you can see, it did draw some power, not a fantastic amount. But we want to get our book upgraded. So, we're going to pitch our book through here, and we're going to wait. And they were generous enough to upgrade our book for us. So greetings, notice our portal's been opened. Yada yada yada, awesome stuff, go view. Some discussion. We give you all the awesome stuff that we have. All right, let's see, we got um, willing to share. Where is it? Set of resources from your world that we lack in ours in exchange. 
Basically, this portal will not let us walk through it, and anything we throw here through here that is not something that the elves want on the other side, they will consider a gift and just take. All right, let's take a look. Resources. This is what we're looking for here. So Dreamwood, Elementium, all the neat stuff. So if I toss Livingwood through, I will get Dreamwood, which is neat stuff. If I toss two Mana Steel, I will get one Elementium. A mana pearl, and I get pixie dust, diamonds, and I get the uh, dragon stones. All right, now because I have a bunch of these, oh, that would have been bad. I just about did exactly what I said not to do. Just about threw something through that was not a mana version. So now we come through here. Now the only catch is when you throw something through, it takes it all right away and then really slowly throws it back out the other side. So you can see it. I threw it through a stack at once and it's just kind of slowly bleeding through. Almost one more. Okay, there we go. Yeah, 16. That's right. Okay, so we got our 16 of those. Oh, seven's just not that many. I'm going to burn up a lot of power on this and don't really have any mana generation in place currently. 22, so we should get back 11. So that'll start coming through. We don't have much in the way of living wood. So we're going to do this. Um, 11, okay. How are we doing on power? I don't want to... Okay, we're still doing good. All right, so we're going to plant some of this here. Some of this here. Oh, I don't know what I wanted to do. All right, and okay, so we got our diamonds. Got our we do not have diamonds yet. Okay, we're going to do that. Dreamwood. Okay, Dreamwood, one-to-one. -one. All right, good. So we'll let that convert over, and while we do that, we're going to go grab some diamonds. We are running seriously low on diamonds right now. So down to 30. Uh, yeah, let's do 10. So we're going to take 10, convert these over to mana diamonds, and throw them through the magical green portal. So those will start flopping back out as these little dragon stones. They, they do look kind of neat. Eight, nine, and ten. All right, good. So now we got pink, 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 pink. And how's our wood doing? I guess we had a tool tip for that. One of the things on the list of things, thing, things of things of things, is to set up a uh, an automated setup for this. Because I mean, I've got the tree farm over there. Um, well, that one's converting, which I think it just did there. I did set up an automated charcoal farm. So all it's doing is just taking a transfer node, and a transfer node's pulling the material out of the bottom and it's looping it right back around into the side. It will automatically choose to go into the side first because it's the shortest path. If that's full, it goes one more into the barrel. So what it's doing is it's basically the first piece of wood I put in there was uh, fueled by another piece of charcoal I started with, and then from that point on it feeds itself. So I just throw wood in there every now and then, and it, uh, it kind of does its thing. Um, there. Okay. So we're going to pitch all 16 of this through here, and I really would like to do more. So we're going to go toss some more up there to start with. So another 16. Get this going. There. Because this will allow us to make an elven mana spreader if we want to. Okay, 16. I like how everything is pink, and this is not. It's kind of one of those oddities, I guess. Okay, so once again, power check. I wonder if the day blooms are enough to keep this thing running. That would be an interesting thing to try out if I funneled 
all the power from those Dave, like these two spreaders here into this one, and then those two into this one. I wonder if you have enough to keep the portal running. I don't think I really need to though. Okay, so we've got that. And one of the, the reason I really wanted this was to get into the materials we can't otherwise get to. Um, we could do quartz, nether quartz, nether quartz, decorative. Yeah, so you can get green. Green nether quartz. Now, mana glass is kind of cool. So you can toss some glass into a uh, mana pool and you get mana glass. And this way you get the elf glass. All right, and this is what I'm really after here. So we've got the functional flora. So you've got these. These ones in green are the ones that came from this knowledge. So the lunum. The lunum and the orchid. The lunum and the orchid take crazy amounts of power and produce different things. The orchid will turn raw stone near it, like actual smooth standard stone, into random ores. So if you have a mana generation system that's just constantly overflowing, Orchids are a pretty good way to do it. Now, at the same time, this is the one I really want right here, the Lunum. What this one does is for an insane amount of power, an extreme amount of mana, it will materialize random dungeon loot. The reason I want this is I have not yet found a division sigil yet, and I want some cursed earth. This is the way you can get it. It will also allow me to get a hold of this magic chalk that allows us to get into the runic dungeons which today is the first time I found one of those. You need three of them to create the stick necessary to create the portal. I only have one. And as far as I know, nobody else has found any on the server, so I can't borrow and you know make a portal form in exchange. All right, so what are we gonna do here? Want some more materials. All right, I think what I'm gonna do, rather than having everybody trace me around my run around circles, I am going to throw through a whole bunch more materials and get as much out of there as I can and then shut this portal down so it doesn't burn up any more power and once I get to that point I'll be back. Alright so I gathered up a bunch of materials. Well, not a bunch. I got 64 of the Dreamwood, 19 of the Elementium. I got enough to do a few things. I was going to uh, go through some of this stuff but the more I start looking the more I uh, I don't have the materials for these things because I thought it'd be neat to make the Lunum or the Orchid right now, but uh, it requires Envy, Gluttony, and Sloth, most of which require Winter, Winter, and Autumn. So those take a little bit of materials to, to create, and I don't really have any of those. Then I thought it'd be kind of neat to make the, uh, where is it? This thing, which allows you to duplicate materials, like one redstone into two, or one glowstone, which is really cool, or nether quartz, you know, for whenever getting to AE, that type of stuff. But that one requires the alchemy catalyst, and I don't want to lose the one I've got, and I don't remember if it uh, combines the functionality, and I don't have enough blaze rods to make another set of brewing stands. So I think with that, I think I'm going to end it here and see where we go. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to end it for now, and with the creation of our portal and our pylons and uh, our first two Terra Steel and our crazy good luck with the uh, Ender Pearls that got us six in here, which I combined all my seeds from over there, so now i got 11 in here. I'm curious to see if I get any more. And uh, we will just pick up later and uh, see what progress I can get done in the uh, the pit down there and get some going and see if I can find a permanent place for this. And I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.